by popular demand, here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. We have had so many requests for a baby room mashup. From infants to toddlers, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm going to make a trunk or toy box for a doll using a recycled tea box, scrapbook paper, or printables from our blog, recycled paperboard, and glue. I start by taking an empty tea box and removing the tabs, leaving only the one on the back. I trim off this small tab, trace the side of the box on a piece of paperboard, cut neatly on the inside of the line so it can fit inside the box, cut several then stack and glue them together. Repeat for all four sides inside the box. Cover the inside back of the box with paper. To get a clean edge, I make small cuts in the corners, then fold the paper over. Cover the sides of the box. Now I could choose to leave it like this. However, the top won't stay down and I would like to make it a little stronger. So I take the stacked pieces of paperboard, cover them with paper, glue them on the inside, and doing careful measurements in the beginning will help to make sure the pieces fit. Taking into account that the side panels will need to be a little bit shorter because of the corners. To weigh the top down, cut and stack more pieces of paperboard, cover with paper, glue it to the lid, glue another one to the bottom, fold leftover pieces of paper, then glue them to the box for a little detail. Now the dolls have a place to store their blankets, or winter clothes, toys, horse accessories, or use it as a coffee table. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a playground for a doll using popsicle sticks, a wooden dowel, a squiggly straw, cardboard, cork, a flex ruler I found at Walmart for 98 cents, pony beads, and twine. I start by laying popsicle sticks side by side, then I lay two across to make a platform. Now I'm going to join two popsicle sticks together by cutting the tips off the ends. I line them up end to end. I take another cut piece of popsicle stick and glue it right over the seam. Repeat this until you end up with four. Now I'm going to glue them to my platform, allowing the edge to rest on that small piece of cut popsicle stick. I glue popsicle sticks around the top. I take my ruler and glue it underneath my platform. Then I glue more popsicle sticks around the bottom of the platform. I glue together more popsicle sticks just like the platform. I glue them to the top for a roof. I glue a wooden dowel under the roof. I cut the ends off of a popsicle stick. I take two pieces of twine, I tie a knot at the end, I cut off the excess, and then glue the knot to the popsicle stick. Glue the other end of the twine onto the wooden dowel. I attach the cork onto the cardboard, then I glue the bottom of my structure onto the cork board. I glue pony beads underneath my ruler, and then glue it to the cork board. I glue a squiggly straw to the side for a fun ladder, add a few finishing touches, to make it your own, and you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a basket using some cardboard from a cereal box, yarn, ribbon, and some scrap fabric. 
I start by making a rectangle in the middle of my cardboard, and then I'll draw lines out to extend it. You can use a ruler if you would like more precise lines. Cut it out, fold on the lines drawn, then cut notches along the sides, all the way around. Try to make them as even as possible. Once that's done, I'm going to take my yarn and start at a corner, and then begin weaving in and out of all of the notches. Try to keep your yarn tight, and as you start the next row, make sure that you're going on the opposite sides. I am also making sure that I push my yarn down as I go row to row and try to keep it tight so that you see no spaces in between the lines. When it's as high as you like it, trim off the excess, cut a thin piece of cardboard, apply glue to one end, then your yarn, and then begin wrapping the yarn around the cardboard. Secure the end with glue and trim off the excess. Then glue into place. Use a scrap piece of fabric to cover up those unfinished edges. Finish off the raw edges with a cute little bow. Make a whole weight sandwich using Copper Canyon felt, red and pink foam, and yellow and green construction paper. Use three large pony beads, one round bead, and a seed bead to make a water bottle for small dolls. And for larger dolls, I'm using a travel size lotion bottle that has been washed out, and I glued a different cap on the top. Put it all together, and you're done. Happy crafting! You can easily turn your basket into a bassinet by changing the handle. Just cut a piece of cardboard that is shaped like the peel of an orange slice. Wrap it with some yarn, decorate it with some ribbon, and glue it to the top of your basket. Use a folded piece of felt in the bottom as a mattress, add a baby blanket, and two ribbons on the side for handles, and you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a doll crib using an old tissue box, some craft foam, ribbon, felt, and fleece. Start by removing the plastic liner out of the tissue box. Cut the tissue box in half. Sketch out how you would like the top of the crib to look. Cut on the lines drawn. Cut the other piece for the desired height. Take the part of the box that you're going to use for the top of the crib and trace it onto a piece of felt. Cut it out, glue it inside your box, glue the top to the bottom, cut thin strips of foam. I begin measuring and gluing them around the top portion of my box. Use the foam like it's the wood for your crib and just make your own design. I begin trimming all of my exposed edges with more foam. Trim here and there to get the look that you want. Glue on another piece of foam to hold it all together. Add a few special touches and a bow on top. Add a piece of fleece or felt for a mattress. Use a scrap piece of fleece for a blanket. Use pom-poms and beads to make a stuffed animal. Put it all together and you're done. going to make a crib for a doll using skinny sticks, felt, fabric, ribbon, acrylic paint, and glue. I start by laying down two skinny sticks, cut several to go between. 
glue them together, glue three skinny sticks together. I use clips to hold it in place while drying. Repeat to make four, glue them at the corners, cut and glue more to go underneath. On the longer sides, glue one across the top, measure and cut several to go across the front and back. Then on the sides, I glue a skinny stick across the top on both ends. Then cut and glue a few more to go on the sides to make a wooden crib. We can alter it by making one end shorter, add skinny sticks across the back and the front to make a bed for our small dolls when they are ready to move out of the crib. Line up a few skinny sticks, glue some leftover pieces going across, make two more, turn one over, glue the other two on the sides, glue a few skinny sticks across the ends to make a large crate perfect for holding toys. We started out with two packs of skinny sticks and we have a few left over and a couple of pieces. So we line up a few, glue some cut pieces across, repeat to make four, turn them over, and glue skinny sticks to the front, trying to evenly space the planks. Turn it around and add two more to the other side to make shelves. Now we can paint the furniture or leave it in its natural color. Place the crib on a piece of felt Sketch the rectangle for inside the crib, cut it out, place it onto another piece of felt, trace around it, draw tabs out to the sides, cut it out, leaving a little extra for a seam allowance, cut two rectangles of fabric and lay them good side to good side, place the felt on top, cut small pieces of ribbon, place them between the fabric at the corners, and you want most of the ribbon on the inside. Use pins to secure it. Sew a straight line going around the outside edge, leaving an opening at one end. Trim off the excess, making small cuts at the corners. Turn it right side out, sew the opening closed. Sew a straight line across the tabs, place it into the crib, tie the ribbons at the corners, place the rectangle of felt onto two pieces of fabric, sew around the edge, Leave an opening to turn it inside out. Sew the end closed to make a reversible mattress. Make another mattress for the bed. Make a larger one without the felt to make a blanket. Make a smaller rectangle and add pillow fluff to make a pillow. On a piece of printed fabric, cut around an image. Place it upside down on a coordinating fabric. Sew around it. Then follow the same instructions for making a pillow to make animal-shaped pillows. And you're done. Happy crafting! Joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup? Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye!